All right, Math 121 students, welcome. My name is Frank Rivera, and I will be your math instructor for Math 121 this semester, uh, this summer 2024. And uh, what you're looking at is the first video that I hope to be a walkthrough of several, uh, kind of introducing you to the course. So if you kind of follow my story along, starting with this video, do what's in the email that I just sent in the welcome message, uh, you're going to pretty much set yourself up for some pretty good uh, information to get you ready to go, uh, get some assignments due that are due so you won't be dropped from the class, and get your review done so you can actually start doing some official Math 120 work, what, 121 work uh, this coming Thursday and Friday and for the rest of the summer. All right, so a couple of items, though, before I uh, start showing you around a little bit. Uh, number one, uh, everything I do is in YouTube videos, including this welcome that I'm giving you. And if you're having trouble, if things seem a little blurry, uh, the resolution seems off, uh, you can always go to the YouTube video at the very bottom right-hand corner. There's a little gear sign. And if you press on that gear sign, you can change the resolution. Everything is shot in HD. Uh, I think it's like 1024 or 1028. And unfortunately, when I use Canvas or student email, uh, the district tends to put these YouTube videos in their lowest resolution. So you can always fix that by just changing the resolution so everything's crisp and clear and neat. And so you can see what you need to see. Um, second thing I want to mention is that, yes, if you did read the syllabus, there is no textbook for this uh, class. Uh, I've decided to uh, ditch the textbook. It worked really well for me last semester. Uh, I'm still in the process of making some changes. So when you do go to the Canvas modules, when we officially get started, uh, I'll reference the textbook still, but don't panic. Uh, you don't need to buy it. If you do want to buy the textbook, email me and I'll send you the ICBN number. But all the information you need, all the notes you're going to take, all the homework you're going to be submitting, uh, quizzes, whatnot, everything is online ready for you. And so you should not need uh, a, a textbook. But again, it's optional if you want to. All right. And then uh, a third thing I want to express is that please be a self-starter. Uh, make sure you're reading the emails. Make sure you're watching the videos that I'm sending you. Like I said, this is the first of uh, several videos where if you just follow my directions, I will literally walk you through everything you need to do for the course so that you know you're prepared and ready to go. All right. So please be a self-starter, be a good communicator. And if you have questions, ask questions. All right. Uh, email me or whatever the case might be. All right. So let me go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking too much this weekend and losing my voice. So let me go to my home screen. And uh, what you're looking at is the uh, welcome email that I've sent. There's basically three parts. The first part is a bunch of items that you have to be doing now. Uh, three of them, responding to this email that I sent, right? Uh, doing the practice assignment and doing your intro. These are all due May 29th, all right? By uh, 1159 Arizona time, PM. Uh, if you do not have all of these successfully completed, I am going to drop you from the class because you've indicated to me that you can't follow directions. And the online class environment is too hard for me to constantly be having to beg a student to follow my direction. So I'm going to drop you right away if you don't do these items. All right. And then there's some review stuff that you should also get started and completed by the same night. So start now. Start early. Don't wait for deadlines. <clears throat> the second part basically goes on how to succeed. And the third part basically goes over expectations. Uh, really it highlights a lot of things of the syllabus that hopefully you've read and that's already attached to here. So please make sure you do read that syllabus. All right. <clears throat> uh, as far as responding, I'll show you how to do the very first item. But if you go to the top of the email, all right, there's a little arrow key over here that says reply. All you got to do is press reply. Say, Frank, I got it. All right. Hit send. I'm not going to do that here, but when you press send, I will know for a fact that you got the email that I sent for you and that you and I have a one-on-one -on -one communication. So therefore, I just walked you through, right, how to finish the first item that needs to be done by May 29th, 2024, or you'll be dropped. All right. So follow those directions. Please make sure you read the syllabus, right, uh, and eventually you're going to go to Canvas. So let me walk you through that part. And then I'll pass you along the line. So there's a link to Canvas. When I, you press on that, uh, what you're going to have to do is log into your Canvas account. So this is always 
fun, right? Oops, I think I messed around with the password. Let me. All right, so there'll be some duo security. Let me get this all out of here. As usual, as you guys know, this probably takes a little while. Okay, good. <clears throat> so I wanna show you here, when you get into Canvas, what you're going to get is basically the Canvas home screen. What you'll see are several tiles. Now, since I teach, I got a lot. But for you, you might see one or two or three five, uh, uh, tiles for the classes that you're taking this summer, maybe even the classes you took last spring, some of the classes you're gonna take next fall. All right, so basically you don't want to do anything from this screen, all right? I know there's a to-do list over here to the right. It kind of goes over some of the items that are due, but you don't want to do them from here because you want to go to the next video so that you can watch and learn and how to progress through my class. So the next thing you want to do is find the tile that represents our particular math class, all right? And so uh, let me find it here. There it is right there. You're going to click on the tile that represents our class, and there's basically our Canvas homepage. As you can see, uh, I have another video at the very top that after you watch this video and kind of go through the email I sent, um, this next uh, video will actually walk you through some more processes. I'll show you the Canvas home screen, get you to the getting started module so you can start doing the practice assignment, start doing the introduction, and start doing your review. So I'm gonna pass you along to that next video, all right? So basically that is it for this particular video, all right? So there's how you log into Canvas, find your way to our Canvas homepage so that you can walk through my video on the Canvas homepage, get used to the environment that you're looking at, right? And then I will literally walk you through everything you need to walk through so that you can get through, right? All the assignments that are due Wednesday, May 29th, uh, uh, Wednesday, May 29th at 11.59 p.m. Arizona time. Again, if you don't have your email response to the welcome email I sent, your practice assignment is successfully finished, and your intro successfully finished by that deadline, you will be dropped from the class. Okay, so uh, after that threatening note, uh, let me uh, finish this off by welcoming you to the class. I look forward to teaching you all and working with you all, and you guys need to start getting busy. I'll see you in Canvas.